This is World Comics Review and recently I've been um, setting up a whiteboard with some notes about the comics I've been reviewing so that I can uh, speak more clearly and coherently about them. And I tried to do it with this one but um, it wasn't worth it, I'm just going to let the hate flow through me. So yes, yeah, this is Pop Japan Travel which is a repeatedly discounted in a desperate attempt to get trick some idiot into buying it. So yeah, this is uh, produced by Pop Japan Travel who I think are a real um, otaku focused package tour company that does holidays to Japan and if this is anything to go on I really hope they've gone bankrupt since. So yeah it's about this idiot who's an idiot and a girl idiot, a big idiot, an obnoxious arsehole and their tour guide who is an idiot. So uh, yeah this is a uh, this the uh, some anime which is like a this world standing for Naruto or whatever I guess and uh, this idiot is being an idiot on the plane and the obnoxious arsehole tells him to not be an obnoxious noisy gaijin because um, they're on a Japanese airline so they're basically in Japan already and he completely ignores this advice and just starts screaming about Mount Fuji and everything anyway blah 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 they meet their guide who obviously speaks English but they just uh, talk over her like talk about her right in front of her in English assuming she can't understand and uh, oh yeah, the, um, the ability of the characters in this story to understand Japanese kind of wildly fluctuates depending on um, depending on what the story requires. So the uh, the idiot is in the hotel; he can't sleep, so he's watching the anime on Japanese TV, which is obviously going to be in Japanese. But um, apparently, he can understand it perfectly. But then immediately afterwards, he can't understand anything in Japanese and needs translation. Blah blah blah. The uh, the four characters who matter and a bunch of other ones are just kind of in the background. They go to Japan and surprise, surprise, there's Japanese people there. Yeah, uh, they go to uh, character profiles. It doesn't matter really. They're all stupid. So uh, yeah, this is uh, from around 2004, I think. I haven't even got the energy to check, to be honest. And uh, at the time, Japanese mobile phones used something called I mode, which is um, I think it was trialed in the UK but uh, flopped because it was too expensive but it let you send colour picture messages and um, emojis and stuff back in 2000 so yeah it was, uh, wasn't was until 3G that western mobile networks caught up caught up to that blah 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 they go to Akihabara which the artist can bother to draw so just use the photo like okay manga does this too but at least the manga um like put the photo for a filter so it looks like it was drawn. They've just literally used photos. Blah blah. Go to Akihabara and surprise surprise there's anime in the anime town. Uh, yeah this guy oh yeah right so this is why I should have made notes so yeah he's like screaming at the shop assistant because in English because he wants to buy a figure but um she doesn't understand him and he can't speak Japanese until literally the next spread when suddenly he does understand Japanese and um, this figure is being sold but there's only a thousand a thousand limited edition of them so he goes barging through the crowds knocking people over he trips on a sign and smashes it and they just sell the last one and uh, the tour guide has to negotiate with the police to stop them from arresting him oh yeah and this book also includes vital otaku advice so um, this is apparently a map of a map of the Tokyo Railways, so they could have had like a map of the Tokyo Japan Railways and a map of the Tokyo Subway with the um, bilingual uh, station names but instead they just decided to show you an incomplete map of two of the overground lines bang up job there so uh, guide to guide to Akihabara which basically just lists the biggest shops you can see as soon as you come out of the station. Blah blah. Go to a maid cafe. This uh, this guy says that the the maid is kawaii instead of kawaii. The uh, the guide gets frustrated with him because she, yeah, she's not an otaku, and it's also her first time guiding this tour. They convince her to uh, cosplay. This guy cosplays too as one of the bad guys from the uh, the anime that's uh, yeah, the made up anime. They go and uh, they take the <laughs> props out into the street and have a mock fight and destroy the um, destroy the props blah 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 
They're gonna <laughs> the fairy tale land called Japan. <sighs> yeah, I really hope this company's gone bankrupt. If, if this is the kind of visitors they were um, they were attracting. <laughs> oh look, vending machines. They're a thing. They're like even the most like normy focused guide to Japan possible tells you that there's vending machines there. So whatever. They go to do more cosplay somewhere else. Nothing matters. They go to Comic Kit, which is like um Yes, uh, like the world's biggest comic convention, like uh, three quarters of a million attendees and yeah, the tour guide takes them there and they go in cosplay, which means they'd basically die of heat stroke if you actually did that. Barge through people jump the queues, get Yaoi Dojinshi, like apparently they didn't know that Yaoi Dojinshi were a thing. Like, yeah, everyone knows about that. Uh, oh, we're in Tokyo Bay, this is where Godzilla lives. Blah blah blah, nothing matters. Go to Asakusa, which um, has traditional buildings which take a long time to draw, so just put the photos. <laughs> Cause playing again. Like, <laughs> This guy just grabs the rickshaw and decides to push it himself. That's something you could totally get away with. Uh, yeah, money. In Japan they use yen. It's a cash society, like you didn't know. Like, every normie tour guide will tell you about this. Taxis are expensive. Nobody tips. There are trains. All right, they go to Kyoto for like a page. Then uh, they go to visit the, the manga of the super popular world famous anime. They uh, go to visit the studio of the guy who makes it. Uh, that's the thing that had happened, I'm sure. Uh, the guy just lets them draw some of the manga themselves. That's the thing that would happen in real life, I'm sure. He runs off to Harajuku. Uh, Harajuku is where people wear weird fashions. Like, apparently that's died out now. Whatever. This was 2004. Yeah. Yeah, they, the main characters have forgot how to speak Japanese again, so the guide's having to like translate everything they say. He decides to cheesily chat up some girls. Surprise, surprise, the, the boyfriends show up and aren't happy. They get into a fight. They uh, accidentally reveal to the boyfriends that uh, he's the guy who writes that manga, and actually these like really hard, badass guys are also a fan of this girly manga. Whatever. Blah blah blah. Oh, they lost the tour guide as well. And the girl idiot is um yeah she's a she's fourth generation Japanese American. I mean like look at her. Yeah, that looks very Japanese, doesn't it? She wants to meet her father who um ran out on her and is like a um boss of some big company, but he didn't make it. Whatever. Guide to the other uh, other districts of Tokyo. Blah blah. Oh, we did actually put a Photoshop filter over the photo this time. They go to Kabuki Cho, which is um. Now they're translating the names, they're translating the signs. Like it seems like every chapter had a different artist. Suzuki, like yeah, that doesn't mean anything. Just a name, Okonomiyaki. That's the food. Blah blah. blah. They go to a rip-off bar. So yeah, if you go to uh, Tokyo and some places in Osaka, and uh, there's touts outside the bars that are trying to convince you to go in, uh, don't go in because uh, they have like a unannounced cover charge of like a hundred thousand yen. So yeah, like 150,000 yen because they have one bottle of wine and a few snacks. So yeah, the Yakuza want to take their stuff to get the money. One of the girls that works in the bar is the, um, one of the girls they try to chat up in Harajuku. So she calls the hard boyfriends who beat up the Yakuza. Then, uh, oh, they've lost the tour guide. And, yeah, the, they've like, a, they've embarrassed the tour guide. Just going to get fired for sure. This girl was worried about them, whatever. Yeah, I read this when I got it in like 2016. The uh, It turns out that the uh, the boss of the company that this girl is the daughter of does care about her, he was just busy and had a meeting, so he's rushing with this guy to get to the airport. About the taxis in traffic, blah blah blah. So they meet the boyfriends, the hard boyfriends, again, who were bikers, so. They get on the bikes, rush to the airport, use the back of <laughs> the back of an 80s Porsche as a as a ramp. Although 80s Porsches had um, T tray spoilers, which you can actually see here, so it wouldn't actually the front wheel would catch on that, and they'd end up face planting about 100 meters down the road. 
blah, blah, blah. They rush through the airport. The, the train is already boarded. But yeah, um, this girl like sees him, jumps off the train and runs down the steps because like, um, that's the thing you can absolutely do on an air, on an airliner. Like just jump off after it's boarded because um, because she forgot something. Blah, blah. This guy promises to come back to Japan. Please don't. They get on the plane. And uh, the, this uh, girl met her father for like a minute. And uh, yeah, the manga artist they wrote, they met, has written them into the manga as new characters. And uh, yeah, suddenly they can um, they can understand J Japanese again and can read. And are able to read this. And uh, yeah, can even build. <laughs> last panel is just a photo, not even a filtered photo, just a photo. And uh, oh, that's... Uh, Aum Shinraiko's uh, the crazy poison gas on the subway cult, that's their headquarters right there. Fun fact. Na, na, na. How to draw manga shops and uh, adverts for the um, Pop Japan Travel. Yeah, so uh, absolutely terrible crap. Don't buy this. <laughs>